is, um, as we did in the previous class, in the previous presentation that you guys did. Um, what the project is covering is basically validating data by covering queries, report, and forms. Um, append queries and updating queries, um, subforms, which we all love. Um, export data to Excel, Words, and PDF. And embed, um, Marco embeds with also SQL SQL. How many statements? So, Northwind Chain's little sign, uh, little background about us is basically uh, we're the leading um, sales and marketing agencies out right now. Uh, we provide um, customer, customers with um, basically fruit products and, and packaged goods, um, make sure that we get to them in the organized and um, timely manage, manner. Um, also, <coughs> uh, when we enter people's information and what they need and, and how do we get to them and how we service them. Um, we provide many different ways um, to get their information organized so we don't mess up their product. So our company mission is to provide the <coughs> service to our clients. And with that, um, this is the people that are going to help you to achieve this. Uh, James is a supervisor, as we <coughs> talked earlier, is, um, who is responsible for achieving and maintaining our clients. Uh, customer stand standards and by overseeing more customers and new customers. Um, Ash, the coordinator, coordinator, I always have trouble saying that word, <laughs> and is responsible for budgeting and expenses controls with uh, goals of, with goal of coming under budget. So she basically handles everything that comes budget wise, she, she knows the ins and outs. <coughs> and is our food resource manager who is responsible for payroll of our employees, which is an important thing because we all have to get paid on time. Obviously, um, me myself, David is a sales manager. is in charge. I um, have incredible people skills, um, <laughs> and I offer uh, the best solution for the company to grow and develop in um, many different ways with our customers and also with our employees. Uh, company's mission is to provide the finest, freshest, special, special, specialty, specialty food, excuse me, product to our customers in a perfect condition. Northwood Church built our reputation through community, what's that? Commitment. Commitment. Commitment and timely delivery <coughs> to offer competitive prices and never compromise on our quality of food. Yeah, this is an overall summary of what we did in the last project. So we um, documented the procedures to protect the business during the event of disaster. We did the payroll reports, did the summary report to show how the payroll totals all the 401k and stuff like that. In chapter two, we worked on problem to fix the queries, fix queries, fix the dates in May 2015 to show the beverage sales to filter only those sales. Chapter three, we did the payroll Summarized by the social security number and field uh, total compensation. We, we give it in an Excel spreadsheet. And chapter four, we did the properties by city project, fix the report by sorting the fields year by field by the year, grouping by the city. And then in chapter five, we did fixing the query project, where we fixed the longevity bonus query. Displayed the yes field without end date. Yeah. Chapter five, we did the lookup customers form. Chapter six, this is a current found project. We updated the certain records and moved the activated customers to a different table. And chapter seven, we added the subform and label that shows the net of each product. In chapter eight, we created several output formats for the um, Word formats, PDF and RTF. And, and then the last one, we filtered the orders to show the show that each employee can see their own orders. And chapter five. Uh, hi everyone, my name is Antoine. I'm responsible for the computing 
uh, finding out what we lose money and making a profit from it. So in order to do so, we uh, have to perform certain queries to, uh, to make computation on our database. So uh, to find out the revenue, uh, we have to uh, should have used So this will reflect um, the profit or loss of our um, revenues. So uh, you can see this, you know, you know to, uh, to output the loss of profit, we use an if statement. We uh, in an inquiry at the same time to generate the result. And uh, we also use some um, group that will be is a uh, function, group by function, you know, to output the total cost and the and generate the, the net at the same time. And um, to find out, also uh, we were concerned about the shipments, like transportation and the cost of the repair on our business. And we find we can uh, we use queries to uh, to to compare between the vendors that we. Uh, partner with, which uh, provides some, some provides benefits and loans, so we can find out. So you may see here, so this re uh, reflect the vendor in here, but in the shipment by vendor, it doesn't pop up on here only. So it will say which one is have the uh, highest amount of shipping shipments, which is uh, in here is the United Package. I don't even know if it's a real name, but it is United Package. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, so you can see the result, and we make offer a deal with them. This is what you call a charge up for the ship the shipment, and that's also the shipment for business, and we uh, expect a better deal from that. And also in here, you can see uh, that I add some features that I learned in the chapters that allow us to uh, enter the year of our uh, of queries, I mean, uh, any, a year of, um, of a recorder we, we want. So uh, it would be adding to the queries, modified queries in the same time. That would be set. So uh, the second. So in, uh, in chapter six, they uh, introduce us to the new features, like using queries to modify tables between the process. So, um, so our append queries will be uh, will uh, append a certain record to a certain table with our, uh, you're not gonna modify one by one <laughs> each record thing. They call us hand half coded, I mean like one hand, by better in performing queries. And delete, que delete queries allow you to delete certain records in certain tables. It could be in multi tables at the same time, which is an uh, awesome feature that's for sale for buyers. And um, it also can generate another table from the queries. So say you have a bunch of tables in here and want to perform a re another table from using the data from the, those two tables. Yes, obviously you can do that with the make table queries. And uh, update queries will help us reduce the time editing the records in the tables. So uh, what it does is modify with the certain uh, condition in, uh, in the tables. So that's it, that's my passion and next is in the talk about the other technique that we use in the business. So, so basically what we did in chapter seven is that um, we added this net cost. Uh, basically this how uh, we use the uh, uh, simple equation is basically unit price is minus um, purchase price. Uh, I mean, excuse me, unit price minus uh, product cost to get um, what we have, the difference of 
basically each one. Um, we created that, kept it on to the side, and we also extended the company name so we could fit everybody. Like Miss Corbett would have a long name on which Cooperativa de Queso para Cabra. So basically, it's a corporation about cheese. Um, so if you guys want cheese, these are the guys you want to go to. Um, in those doing, uh, in those, in those doing so, um, this equation um, was basically um, pretty easy. Um, like I explained earlier, we just wanted to know what the difference was from each, um, from each, basically each unit price to product cost uh, to get that. We just did a simple equation, unit price minus uh, product cost. And chapter eight? Yeah, chapter eight, that's when we um, exported the different formats for PDF documents, and we just showed the reports for each product. The companies wanted different formats, like different, different companies wanted different formats for each one. Only the employee, uh, it displays only the uh, particular employee ID. And I have also used the SQL statement as in the record source property, uh, which also describes the country uh, only the user wants to see in a report. Um, so this, these are the command buttons. So the command buttons uh, will do what the user want to uh, perform when each time the button is clicked and that X button is this one. It just want to exit um, without showing anything. It's the database. Um, yeah. So overall, um, so far, uh, this presentation uh, in Northland figures, uh, our team members, uh, these are our team members' conclusions. Um, we have so far done uh, data validation. Data validation is used when you want to restrict any data by just a certain range of dates or by, by limit your choices. Um, and we have done the lookup field. Uh, the lookup field is the, um, is the user friendly value uh, that is bound to other value uh, in the source table. Um, the next one we did is subform and subreport. Uh, the subform is nothing but an enclosed form in a primary form. Um, so the user can relate uh, the data from the different fields. So it's easy to see. Um, and we have done the data, embedded data macros. <coughs> and we use the SQL statement. And we have used the different queries like append query update query and delete query, which also do something to the data, um, the criteria that user used. So, and the other thing we have done is, uh, <coughs> yeah, SQL statement. The SQL statement which gives the, displays the information based on the criteria the user um, gives to the gives when entering. And also we have uh, seen the parameter query. Parameters query is nothing, uh, it can uh, um, expand your range of query. Like you can, you need to enter the criteria you want uh, during the uh, run time. So these are the things we have covered so far for the Northwind traders. That's it. Any questions? Good job guys, very good job. Ha, 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 ha.